Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got something really cool, really special, and something that I actually forgot that we did, and that is create custom sneakers. Custom sneakers. It's Nike ID, but not. <laughs> Now before I open these guys up, because basically we got two pairs for each person. One of these is mine, or two of these are mine actually, can't count. And then the other two are Mrs. Wings. So, come on down. So what these guys are before we open them, first off I haven't seen what she designed. Is yours themed? Yeah. Okay, so mine's themed too. I f***ing forgot my theme. Hopefully my memory is rejogged as soon as I open them. But these were provided by Converse. Converse is actually owned by Nike, which is really cool. Nike is the uh, exclusive apparel of the NBA right now. So these guys are directly tied in with that. So these are NBA themed sneakers on Converse Chuck Taylors, both high and low. The only problem that I've seen so far with these is that there's not every team available. Right. When we did the high tops, we had a batch of of teams we could pick from mm -hmm. and then when we went to the low tops you didn't have the same options it is cool though because you could celebrate your team's victories and all of that stuff with their championship runs which we've seen on uniforms and jerseys and shooting shirts my only gripe though is just that i remember the first theme that i was trying to do which was like a sacramento to the bay i was trying to play up on where i live now and but where i'm from and i could not do that because i don't think sacramento was a team option yeah i don't remember seeing the kings on there i can't remember what i actually did. I is, know what I did for okay. both. Yeah, so it's a problem for me. Like I have like the worst memory for short term. For whatever reason I can remember like the most random things long term. Back in 2003 when I saw these shoes across the way. <laughs> I don't know why but some things are like ingrained in my brain and other things are like I did that? Really? So with that being said we're gonna open these guys up. Thank you to Converse by the way. I appreciate it. Do we do one at a time? F it. It's the high tops. Yours look dope already, man. Oh, those they are, do? Those are fresh. <laughs> Hold on, you open yours first. I want to see what yours are. So I, of course, did a Warriors. We are from the Bay Area, born and raised. And I didn't get into basketball till I started dating you. And so since he was a Warriors fan, I automatically became a Warriors fan. We would go to games together when they were dirt and cheap. Yeah. How, what were the packages? Was it $30 or $20? And it would include a drink and a hot dog. To be all the way upstairs. Nosebleed sections, yeah. man. Our team was messed up, but we had some talent, dude. Like we had no direction as far as leadership goes, but the, the, the roster. We had some really awesome pieces that we weren't able to do much with, but we were the first number eight seed to upset a number one seed in the playoffs, the Dallas Mavericks. That was awesome. Anyways, go ahead and uh, talk about your shoes. People are already, I can feel them in the comments being like, shut the f up, you talk too much. <laughs> well, I just that thought was it was- That was a fake ass laugh, don't do that. <laughs> Cause you're sitting there being like, they're right. I just thought it was cool because you were able to do everything even including the liner. For some reason, yellow on a shoe- Looks sick. Yeah, and so as soon as I could tell that you were allowed to put that on your shoe, I was like, that's what I want. We have the Warriors logo. Yep. And then you've got all of the championships that they have won. And I don't know what that empty box, what's that empty box for, do you know? Probably so you could fill it in yourself. Oh, just in they... case you win another one. Mm -hmm. You have this option, you can not do it. Yeah, you don't have to put the team name on the side. You could do almost everything you wanted to the shoe. You could decide if you wanted the stripes colored. Yes, they have the old school. The brown. Yeah. Yeah, that so I had like alluded the, to in yeah, another the, video. The very first Chuck Taylors were brown. Not, I mean, it was an option, but like that's just kind of the rubber that they used to use back then. So that is an option if you wanted that. And then they also have the NBA branding right there, which I think is a really cool touch. They don't have that stupid felt stuff on the bottom. Yeah, some, some Converse's still do. No, I know, the ones I'm wearing right now do. Yeah, so like if you go to, where was that? Zoomies? Journeys. Journeys, whatever. If you go to the mall and you grab a pair of Chucks, it's probably got that felt crap on the bottom. These guys do not, these are made kind of like the, not quite like the originals, but closer to mm -hmm. uh, where it's all rubber everything, which I think is great because I hate that felt. So those are yours. I did also a Warriors theme. Oh, but you put the yellow on the inside. Yeah, so I did like an inside out. So I got the yellow on the inside. So no team branding on the lining. I also removed the text. I went with the old school NBA logo colors as my tooling. But I really like the way that yours turned out. I think that the white on white looks super clean. And then they have this denim option. Yes. Which is cool. Cause this is normal canvas. And then this is uh, this is denim. I think they had three colors. Yeah, they had like a light blue or kind of grayish. Uh, again, what is also cool is that you can, you should play around with this anyways, just cause it's fun. Um, even if you don't buy anything, but like there's like different panels that you can do the different colors. So like the tongue is a different color. Yes. The heel is a different color. You even get to do panels. the grommets. Like yours yes. are silver, mine are gold. 
gold. They the, had a white option. Yeah, I really like your colorway. I kind of wish I did that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. That's some corny ass. <laughs> on to the next. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Canvas, rubber. It smells like rubber. It smells good. I like the way the chucks smell because they don't smell like glue. Glue is a smell that I do like though, uh, which sounds we've, weird. We've noticed. Yes, but it's because it's the new shoe glue smell, which I think is awesome. What do you think about mine though? I like yours. I like mine more. Yeah, I like yours more too. I was trying to do something a little bit different with the denim. Also, how do Converse's fit? True to size. You think they're true to size? I think they fit hella big. You're My, a wide footer though. Yes, and I'm able to, with confidence, walk in and be like, I would like a men's or a boy's size four and know that they will always fit me. Yes, but most of the time with most shoes, you wear a four and a half. So I guess. They're not true to size. That's been my size in them since I was like 16 though. So to me, I'm like, yes, I'm a four. Cause these are, oh crap, I did a nine. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that? Are you going first? Oh, you can go first. No, you go first. Ladies first. Okay, well, so for this one, cause I remember my theme. Okay. Warriors wasn't an option on the low tops mm. and I don't really have a second favorite team. And so I did mine based off of what <laughs> holiday I could wear these for. So I would like you to guess <laughs> what team that you could associate a holiday with. The Timberwolves? What holiday would that go to? Christmas? No. No. I thought you were gonna guess like 76ers or something for 4th of July or something. Nah. Cause it's not that. I don't know, I'm stumped. Oh. <laughs> Is it St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Man, you did Boston. <laughs> yeah, I did. And again, it, dude, look at all those numbers on that tongue. Let's not, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look at how few championships the Warriors won versus Boston. Boston's a stacked team. That's one of the best franchises in the league. And again, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, I could put yellow on there. And so I did. And is that for gold, like the pot of gold, or is it for the Warriors? It's for the pot of gold. That's most of it. And I went and again, put the Boston inside. They actually look cool though. They do, right? But Gr Green and yellow are two of my most disliked colors but I have really warmed up to them on footwear over the years. Again, I've told you that about yourself. Maybe it's because I'm a Green Ranger fan. I don't Maybe. Know. Well, those are dope. Thank you. Oh yeah. Man, I did the same <laughs> color on both shoes. I can't believe I did that. It's okay, I went with the little thing too. I kept going for that yellow. Yeah, see, I went down half a size in the low one, so maybe I messed up on these. I don't know. I remember what I did now. Mine are ugly as hell. You came out with two fresh colorways and mine are Mine are bad. So these, I do have the Chicago on oh. there, but I blacked it out. Yeah. Because I didn't want it to be prominent and all that stuff. And there are multiple colors in this upper. Do you know why? Because you were doing it against teams that he played and beat? No. Oh. That's actually a good guess though. So my thought process was to highlight one of the players in the second three-peat. It doesn't get a lot of shine. Although he does, but he doesn't get the shine that Jordan and Pippen do. There was this one sign in this videotape that I had, this cassette tape. It was called The Unstoppables and it highlighted that season's 72 and win victory. And there was this one person in the stands that had this really dope sign and it said, Superman, Batman and Rodman. So this was supposed to kind of like touch on a lot of the colors that he actually used in his hair. The denim was cause he was kind of weirdy, like, like motorcycles, stuff like that, but he would also cross dress and like just weird. But that was my thought process for these. It was not only to celebrate my childhood, like watching all of this happen was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but then also one of the players that I just feel like he's like the greatest rebounder of all time. He's that hustle dude that you won on that team where like, he's like, he can't shoot a free throw. He sucks at threes. You know what I mean? Like we used to celebrate when he would tip the ball in. We'd be like, oh he scored you know what I mean because like that wasn't his role in the team his role is to disrupt and to rebound I just love how you basically made the same shoe twice and didn't even and I can't it. even because that's how <laughs> bad my memory is where I was like I can't remember what I did with the first one but yeah these look dope I think I think yours came out killer though yours are sick so I realize and I know for a fact because we take everybody's information when you join our discord mm -hmm. nobody in our discord is my size it kind of sucks because I get shoes oh yeah so you can't like give them away so what I would like to do is offer somebody in our discord who actually knows somebody like whether it's your kid or your significant other if they are into boss 
Austin. Oh, you're gonna keep the. Sofa? I'm gonna no. I'm keeping these. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I would like to give away my men's size four Boston. But you gotta message me on Discord. Like if you send it on YouTube. That's Sorry. very very nice of you. I do want to try these on real quick. Converses to me run super big. These are an eight and a half. I feel like I could still go down half a size. Oh really? Yeah. So I would what I would recommend, especially if you're gonna customize, go into a store, try on a pair first, make sure that you get the size that you like. And then if you want to customize, go customize. So what I will do is I will give mine away too. Both of them? I'll give both of them away. I will also give them away to Discord members because they help support our channel. So my gratitude goes towards all of those people, right? But I also feel like I'm in debt to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like without you guys, the channel doesn't run as smoothly as it does because ad revenue is volatile, especially at the beginning of the year. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to give these to a Discord community member of our Wear Testers Discord community. Both of these, one per person. On top of that, it doesn't matter if you're a gold member. No, no, it doesn't. And we'll do it first come, first serve. The first person, let me see what channel I should do this in. We have a section called Last Video Comments. All of our Discord members know this already. So the first person to go in there and physically tag me, but only one per person, okay? So these are, again, these are a men's size eight and a half. These are a men's size nine. And so what did I say? I would say a full size difference. So a nine and a half and a 10. I'd say half. Wide footer. If you're a wide footer, half a size. If you're a normal footer, uh, full size is what I would what I would say. But hit me up. Uh, let me know which one you claim, and I will get your information. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. We greatly appreciate everybody that messes with us. And with that being said, <laughs> you're leaving me hanging. <laughs> you went way early. Have a good one. <laughs> and they have one a. Sh Ton of championships. Holy Look at crap. that. That goes down the whole tongue. Do they have the extra spot up top too? Yep. Yeah. They're waiting, but they haven't had Just, anything since 2008. So. That's fairly recent. <laughs> I don't know. I got that's a 2015, very... 17, and an 18 over here. That's what I'm saying though. Look at this. Look at these years. Okay. <laughs> no, check this out. They go and they span decades. Yeah. Our parents' childhood all the way through our childhood and our adulthood. That's like my grandparents' childhood in there. We have 1947, and then 1975 was the last one until 2015. So don't give me this bandwagon <laughs> bullshit. The Warriors have sucked my entire life. That proves it because my entire childhood is missing. We won three championships by building our team in the draft with the exception of one star player wishing to come to our team. One, nobody cried when LeBron wanted to go and meet up with Dwayne Wade who had won championships with Shaquille O'Neal and Jason Williamson and Gary Payton. Nobody complained about that. I feel like we did. Like we made comments about it. No, NBA analysis tried to like downplay all that stuff until they won and then they were like yeah he's the goat but then when KD does it KD's a and I'm just like you can't have it both ways but we're not here to talk about that here to talk about Chuck I'm